Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We're very happy to have you here on behalf of the Gatoutis family and Kelleher's. Kelleher family. We want to thank you for celebrating this joyous occasion. We've waited so long for tension-filled times and good times, and we're here. The love is palpable between these two. Aren't they cute? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. They are. They're just, they're adorable. We were at the club one day, me and Lovey, and uh, Christian came over and asked for Aunt Lisa's hand in marriage. And I knew he was a keeper right then. So Christian and I met on Bumble. We met on uh, an app called Bumble. It was funny because we both told each other that we were like our last ditch effort before getting off of Bumble. <laughs> He was like the very last person I swiped. I, was, I remember I was sitting on my couch watching Nightmare Before Christmas, eating candy corn. <laughs> we were kind of both swiping and had realized that we didn't want to do the online dating thing anymore. I swiped him because he was so cute. He had this like great smile and he had tattoos. And I was like, all right, this is the last guy I'm swiping. And then a few days later, we just started chatting. And something had um, attracted me to her profile. And there was just, I can't explain it. Some weird thing about him that just kept us talking and communicating. I had on my profile that I knew the difference between there, there, and there. And she said uh, that it attracted her uh, initially, and we hit it off ever since. So we met on Bumble. And you now here we are. So we owe Bumble everything. <laughs> After seeing them together a few times, I knew that Christian was different. And Annalise was different around him. They just worked together. So Christian, it didn't take long for me to realize that you were the one for Annalise. Ordinarily, this is the time that I would say, like, please take care of her. But after knowing you the last several years, I know that is not going to be a problem. Ladies, if your man does not treat you the way that Christian treats Annalise, find a new one. There's so many things that I love about her. I love her intelligence, I love her wit, I love her humor, I love how hard she works, and I love her dedication to uh, our little family that we've started, and I love her ambition. I'm really, really lucky to have found him for me. Like, I feel like, what, where were you my whole life, you know? Honestly, um, he's just a really, really, he's an amazing fiance, he's been an amazing boyfriend, he's an amazing brother and son and we're just all, I think, a lot luckier humans just to know him in our lives. <laughs> That's lame. Take a moment to recall every magical moment in your life that led you to this point. Everything that has ever happened has led you to this moment right here. It's been a long road. It's been tough. There's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of, a lot of cussing, <laughs> a lot of uh, frustration, um, but we made it. And if we can survive the last almost two years through a pandemic, through postponing the wedding, through rescheduling everything, we can make it for anything. I'm convinced of that. I know we can make it for anything. And I look forward to doing that with you. There's nobody else in this world that I'd rather spend my life with. And I've heard it from all my friends, from your friends. They say that you know, we're two peas in a pot. And I believe it. I read your letter earlier, and you said that there was something different about me when you met me. But there was something different about you. I knew you were going to be different. I knew I was going to marry you from the day I met you. I just knew it. You know, that's what. That's what I'd say to you right now as we made it. We're here. Because in spite of all of our differences, love is what we all share. It's a great commonality, our one universal truth. No matter who we are or where we come from, we know this one thing, love is what we're doing right.